Hello ladies, welcome to another edition of The Beauty Shaman. And today I'm talking about your top five makeup items. Generally, if you go into a Nordstrom or a Macy's, they're gonna try to sell you a hundred things because they're on commission, that's what they do. I used to do it, it's part of the gig. But what do you really need to have? What are the most important items? So what I'm gonna give you today are my top five items. Number one is serum. Get a great anti-aging serum with retinol and retin-A in it. Find your brand. Let me show you mine. My favorite brand um, for this is Image. They do not sponsor any of my videos. This is purely from my own uh, advice. Um, but they make a really great, this is called Ageless Total Anti-Aging Serum. Works great. I use it about every two to three days. Do not use retinol or retin-A every day. It will thin your skin. One of the reasons I want to point out having a good serum is that um, a lot of times we spend a lot of money on things like cleansers and moisturizers and eye creams and God light creams and oh my God, the list goes on, right? All those things are good and can really be helpful. But what's really the game changer is the serum. You have to get a great serum. And it's usually the thing that women don't buy because it's more pricey. My feeling is get a good moisturizer and a good cleanser and get a great serum. Spend money on your serum. A lot of lines have great serums. You know, a lot of the best lines out there like Chanel and Lancome and Bobbi Brown, like these little lines all have really good serums. Just try them out and see what you like. Probably my top few favorites are Image, definitely. I also like Bobbi Brown makes a really good serum called Extra Repair, which keeps moisture in your skin. It's a phenomenal serum. It's one of my very favorites. Chanel also makes. Um, an excellent serum for anti-aging. Um, just go shop around, see what you like. Um, these are, are gonna cost you over $100 a pop. I don't know what the image one costs, I'm sorry to say. I'm an esthetician, so I get discounts. But I would recommend spending your money on a serum. And really, eye creams, get what you want. Get what you want with face creams. That's my number one. Number two most important item is a really good foundation. So this is my favorite foundation um, that I use on myself. I don't use this on any of my talent that I work on because it's too expensive, but I use Vita Lumiere Aqua by Chanel. I really like it because it's um, sheer. It's not a super thick um, density foundation. What I find is women often skimp on foundation. They'll buy um, you know, something from the drugstore, which tends to be very opaque, very dense. As we age, you number one wanna take care of your skin. Number two, you wanna use something that's gonna make your skin look luminescent without looking like you're wearing it. I see so many women with way too much foundation on and it's way too dense. Go ahead, spend the money, get a really good um, foundation. It really makes a huge difference. Number three, my number three top item for women to buy is really good blush. It was upside down. Okay, this is my MAC. I use a lot of MAC. MAC makes great blushes. Many lines make great blushes. I don't think there's a particular line that makes a better blush than other lines. But I really like MAC's colors. Get yourself a good solid blush that the color's gonna stay on your face, not something you put on in the morning and by midday it's gone. As we get older, the color tends to seep out of our skin. So we need to have color. You know, when you look at girls in the magazines, a lot of times they have this bronzer, this line, right? A bronzer, and they don't have any cheek color. It's a look, it's a fashion, it's a fad. I'm not a fad person. I think it's good to be modern and keep up with those things, but ultimately we need color in our cheeks. When I make up talent for camera, I always put blusher on them. They need it. We need that color. It gives us vibrancy in life. So this is my MAC, some of my MAC stuff. I say some, I have way more makeup than is necessary or human. But these are some of my main colors that I use. So I'm gonna show you how I put it on too, so that you get an idea. One mistake people make with blush is they tap it in there and then they rub it like this, like they're a sauce, like a steak or something, you know, like you're putting rubbing sauce on a steak. It's not necessary. In fact, if you go for a run and you come home and you look at your cheeks, the color is right here. It's not up here, it's here. So take your blusher, put it on the apple of your cheek, right there. That's what you wanna do. And try to match your blush with your lipstick. Not always, but kind of as a rule of thumb, that's a really good way to go. So my top three tip is get yourself some blush. Number four on my list of important items for women to have is lipstick. So lipstick changes everything. 
This is actually a Tom Ford. This is very high-end lipstick, but you, know, you can get a cheap lipstick. It doesn't matter as long as it stays on your lips. I find this is a really good product, stays on my lips, as is MAC, Bobbi Brown, some of the main lines. Wear lipstick. Lipstick brightens your whole face. You wanna go with something that really goes with your complexion, that um, highlights your coloring, highlights your outfit. I tend to go very much according to what I wear. Um, I'm not that person who says you're a summer, winter, spring, fall. I don't go with that at all. I go with what's really gonna work with that outfit. So get yourself some really good lipstick and put it on and wear it, ladies. Come on, why not look great? Okay, tip number five is mascara. Get yourself a decent mascara. This is the most decent, inexpensive mascara that you can buy. It's Maybelline Great Lash. So I tend to buy these in bulk because I go through at least one or two of these a month because I work as a professional makeup artist. So I'm not gonna buy a really high-end mascara. I'm gonna get something good that works. And that's what I find about Maybelline Great Lash. If you really are into mascara, then I would say go ahead and get yourself a much higher-end one. For high-end mascaras, my very favorite one is Chanel Le Volume, Le Volume, fantastic mascara if you're looking for a good one. But the reason why I bring up mascara is I have had so many women sit in my chair with flakes of mascara on their cheek. And the reason for that is that it's old. They got it in like 1980. So don't do that. You need to trade out your mascara at least every three to six months or it dries out. It also becomes not very sanitary. Get yourself a good mascara. Also, if you're running out the door, you don't have a lot of time, mascara, blush, lipstick. Pow, there you've got color. Because as we get older, we need the color and mascara really highlights your eyes. So it's very simple. The other thing with mascara is I very rarely put mascara on the lower lashes. And the reason for that is it can end up down your face. Now I use waterproof on all the talent I deal with because I don't want it to end up down their face, but I also never put it on the lower lashes. If you like it there, that's fine. Sometimes it can look a little overdone, so just be mindful of that. Those are my top five items that need to be in your makeup kit. This is Suzanne, the Beauty Shaman, and thank you very much for watching.